Well, now it's time for what I think is going to be everybody's favorite segment of the week. I know it's going to be my favorite segment of the week. We all have our little group text friends that we get in share information, share bets, lost shops, and this show is going to be no different. I got three of my guys with me. Jeff is obviously back in here, and we're going to be joined by Sam Panionovich from Fox Sports, amongst other things, Will Hill from VEASAN and a bunch of other spots. We all share information throughout the offseason. It is no longer the offseason. We are ready for week one. Can't wait to get going. So the first question I'm going to bring up here is, Everyone wants to know, who is your Heisman pick? It's so easy to take Caleb Williams, right? I'll, I'll, I'll start with Jeff being that you're the only one of us five people that actually played college football. What, what, what do you think? Do you go back? I, know, I know your love affair for USC and uh, yeah. Caleb Williams winning the Heisman last year. So I know, I know you're all over Caleb to win it again this year, right? Yeah, big USC fan over here, Jeff Schwartz. Um, I don't think he's going to win the Heisman, not because he's not the best player in college football. We saw on Saturday how good he can be, right? We know he's the really the entire offense. The offensive line struggled. Uh, there's some wide receiver, I think, trying to find guys open. He's the offense. He's the best player in college football. There's no doubt about that. Number one pick in the draft, but he's not going to win two years in a row. First of all, we know this, right? The voters typically don't want to vote in guys two years in a row. Haven't done it since 1975. But, but more importantly, guys, I don't think USC is going to have the season they had last season. They're not surprising anyone, which you saw last year, right? Going from four and eight all the way to, to 11 wins. And they're not going to win the Pac-12 conference. And those two things are really going to hurt his oh, Heisman whoa, candidate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're going to not find going to, Not going to, not going to, I, I have to stop you there. Not going to win the Pac-12. We, 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 are we going, uh, we going UW there? We're, we're, How are you going to win the oh, Pac-12 oh, if you on. can't tackle anybody, they, Bear? They can't tackle. They just gave up 400 yards to San Jose State. How are they going to beat Washington and Utah and Oregon? Forget it. Sammy is correct. It, 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 they, it, it, it's true because if they don't get the turnover luck that they got, left, it was amazing how they were winning games last year with, with all with, with the, the, the kickball interception. Oh wow, look at that! <laughs> uh, uh, what should have been should have been a touchdown pass. Whoop! Let me let me run it back for a pick six the other way. I kind of agree with you. I don't, I don't think they're going to win the Pac-12. They're not. Oregon's going to win. We anyway. get to to to, to another time. Oh, we'll get um, to that. I, Will, I Will, think, Will, we have a wheel. I'm sorry. Go finish, finish your thought and then I'll get to Will. I'll say, I, I'm going to go start Monday night with, with uh, the Jordan Travis uh, Heisman campaign after they uh -huh. win on, on Sunday against LSU. I, I'm going with him as my lead dog to win this one. I think he's got everything you want in a Heisman quarterback. He plays in that, in that offense with all those wide receivers and Mike Norvell that can coach offense. I'm going with Jordan Travis. Jeff, I don't know how far you are away from me. I don't know how you could possibly see my notes from there, but I'm totally with you. Not too often in college football do you get a showcase game, a standalone game where you're the only game on, and you get that Sunday night with Jordan Travis. And, you know, like you mentioned with Caleb Williams, when you're betting Heisman, you're betting the program, you're betting the team. And not only has Travis improved every year just exponentially, but he's got a, an outstanding coach in Norvell. They've got good receivers. They've got a ton of offensive line experience, which I know, you know, you value – uh, greatly. So I think Travis at what 12 to 1, 14 to 1, of course, shop around. That was my pick too. That's one. Look, you know, everyone wants to be fun and find the guy that's 80 to 1, 90 to 1. I've heard people make a pace for you know Tanner Mordecai with Wisconsin's new offense. But to me, Travis, I, I think is a really good bet. All right, I mean, all right, look, Sammy. Yeah. Will 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 mention something there with that game, uh, Sammy, on Sunday night. But what what about the other like Jay, Jay Daniels? If he has a big game there, is that same hold true for him like it would Travis? Yeah, whoever wins that game is going to obviously catapult atop the other one. But there, there's too many quarterbacks for me, boys. I mean, in the drop-off between Caleb Williams and Drake May and Michael Penix and Quinn Ewers and all these guys, Jordan Travis, Jalen Daniels at Kansas, like they're all very good. And I could make a case for all of them. So let me go to a different position here. I know, I know, it's always a quarterback that wins the Heisman Trophy. Not really, though. Shouldn't be. Marvin Harrison Jr. is the best player to me in college football. And if we're talking numbers... How about 30 to one on a guy who's substantially better than the next best receiver, a guy who's probably going to get a hundred catches for 20 touchdowns this year on an Ohio state team that could run the table and go 12 and 0. And here's the other thing. Last year, they had CJ Stroud who spread the ball around this year. Whoever ends up winning the job by week two or three is going to literally play Madden the entire game and just throw the ball to Harrison who always gets open, who can make any catch, run any route. And I bet 30 to one, there's no way that Caleb Williams should be five to one. And Marvin Harrison should be thirty to one. That that does not that does not even compute in my brain. No, no. And you mentioned something I think important right there. 
in terms of the quarterback position, they don't have like a Heisman caliber quarterback like Stroud was last year. He was going to get a ton of votes, obviously, in the Heisman voting, and that was going to take away from any other vote getter. Like Harrison is going to be the guy. He is going to be the Ohio State, the face of Ohio State's Heisman campaign. So I agree with you. Like Harrison's a great play. You did also mention a bunch of quarterbacks and how the quarterbacks are deep. I went way down. And Will, I know you're, you talked about 80, 85 to one. You don't want any of, any of that. But uh, I actually took Connor Wigman at 60 to one, uh, Texas A&M's quarterback. He's down to 40 to one. And I'm assuming a lot of people are seeing the same thing I am. Now, you have a, a, an offense now that's got some skill players back. They got Bobby Petrino in, who's now as a coordinator calling plays. They've kind of been running in the Stone Age a little bit with some of the Jimbo Fisher schemes and slow developing things. Remember, Petrino took Lamar Jackson and that Louisville team to a great season, got Lamar the Heisman Trophy. I think Wigman now in his second year as a starting quarterback is someone at a and this, this might be the year that AM finally realizes its potential. Like they, they've been hyped the last couple of years, but they finally have built up a couple of recruiting classes. Jimbo made some changes on the staff that are important. So uh the high bet in the Heisman's kind of like betting it. Like you're looking for a price. Maybe Wegman won't win it, but I would expect his price to come down and maybe it allows you an opportunity to bet on a couple of other guys as well.